Hi, we see it's Aaron, Mitha Alamir. Today I am entering a contest for Roberts on my turntable. Roberts one of my best friends, one of my best friends in the VC. He's a really great guy. Uh, we've been following each other pretty much since I started making videos, and um, I just really love his videos and his laid-back style. And uh, it's a coffee kind of morning. Love that. And he's a really great guy from Canada. And his contest is Keep the Beat, and so it's focusing on drummers, which is my favorite instrument. I used to try to play the drums. <laughs> so I'm going to focus in on five of my favorite drummers. I'm not going to include um, like any Kiss drummers because Kiss is one of my favorite bands, but they have three great drummers. I'm not going to include them. I'm going to try to pick some drummers that maybe people haven't picked. Maybe someone has. There's probably some that have. But I'm going to start with this. Uh, I've got some of my favorite bands in here, and I'm starting with Sweet F.A. And Tricky Lane right here is the drummer really great drummer. Sweet F.A. is kind of a uh, sleaze metal, like right after the hair metal, the little bit heavier edge stuff that was coming out. And he comes from a thrash background. He, he played in thrash bands before he was in Sweet F.A. So he has a really powerful, fast style, a really powerful style. I really love his drumming, always have, and he elevates the band Sweet F.A. with his drum style, I think. And um, this is their second album here. They had two albums, and he's always been one of my favorite drummers. Up next is my favorite, one of my very favorite drummers from the early 90s. Well, he's still playing now, but um, of all the grunge bands, this drummer was always my favorite. It's Sean Kenny from Alice in Chains. He has a very distinct style. I really love that. He just always stood out to me, especially in songs like from this album, from like uh, No Excuses. I love the drumming in that. Really sets them apart from a lot of the other grunge bands, even though there were some other great grunge drummers like Matt Cameron, a couple others. But uh, to me, Sean Kenny was always my favorite. I love his work. Really great drummer. Up next, one of my favorite thrash drummers of all time. He's maybe the best of all the thrash drummers. And it's Charlie Benante from Anthrax. And let's see if I can, where is he? Here is up here, Charlie Benante. Great drummer, he also plays guitar, he writes. But he, his drumming is just phenomenal. He's really, uh, he, you know, he does all that double bass stuff, but he's just a phenomenal drummer, and the drumming really sticks out on Anthrax Records, where he's almost the driving force of the band, him and the, uh, the rhythm guitar, and he's just an excellent drummer, and I've never heard him play bad drums. They're always exceptional. One of my favorite drummers ever, Charlie Benante. Up next, still in the thrash vein, uh, this drummer here, is uh, he's from San Francisco and uh, Filipino it's an off Filipino thrash band called Death Angel and this album here is amazing this is uh, the Ultraviolence there's Andy Galleon right there he's the drummer and he, on this album he is 15 years old second album for all through the park he was 16 so he was just in his mid-teens playing on these amazing thrash albums that are kind of progressive thrash and very intricate drumming and he throws a little bit of funk in there, uh, you know, just an amazing, amazing drummer. And it's quite a, quite amazing that he started playing that good at that young. And Andy Galleon's always been one of my favorite drummers. Death Ends is one of my favorite bands. This is an excellent record. I love all their albums. They're one of my favorite bands ever. But he um, actually quit the band in 2009, so they have a different drummer now. But he played with them up till 2009. He was also in the organization which was basically Death Angel when they were on hiatus and then the, sw the Swarm as well. Great drummer, amazing stuff. Always been one of my favorite drummers. And now of course I'll go to my favorite drummer. I mean Eric Carr I've always said is my favorite drummer but he's very, this guy's right there. And this is John Paul Gaster from Clutch. And he is a very just steady drummer, very intricate, I mean, he plays everything perfectly, especially live. And he's one of those guys where, you know, they'll be like at a festival, a bunch of bands. And, you know, there's certain musicians where when they go up on stage, all the musicians from the other bands come out just to watch him. He's that guy. It's John Paul Gaster from Clutch. Amazing drummer. He has does any kind of style. He plays on a small kit that gets all these different sounds out of it. He will, like, play on one drum and get... The sound of like four or five different drums out of one drum, which is really cool. He plays on, he doesn't play on a riser, so he's right there at the level with the band. 
I uh, really love this style. Amazing drummer, one of, one of my favorite drummers of all time. John Paul Gaster from Clutch. Um, I, of course, I'm a huge Clutch fanatic, but that's one of the reasons I really got into Clutch was the John Paul Gaster's drumming. That and their lyrics and just, they're, uh, they're my favorite band, but check out his drumming, especially like on something like this, Full, uh, Full Fathom 5, it's a uh, total live album. And he just jams out at the end of the song, so it adds extra fills, really cool stuff. So there's my five drummers for you, Robert, and a really cool contest. Everybody sub to Robert's on my turntable, and I will see you later.